Here we go again with another video. <laughs> Back again. A box. What's in the box? You'll probably know what's in the box because it will be on the thumbnail on my channel, won't it? Yeah, well, a lot of conversation about the last video I've done of the red bulk headlamp. And we started talking about a green one. So I thought with myself, I'll go and buy a green one. Right, this one, not quite exactly the same as the other one. Slightly different. Um, also, I'm going to uh, show you something on here which is rather strange, which, while well, they would say this is one. Anyway, it's uh, this one's got a black backing, the other one's got a white. Similar shape, this is a little bit more sort of curved at the front. But hey, I thought, no, why not? We got one of these, it was cheap enough from City Electrical Factors. A very strange thing about this was it was advertised as a 110 volt. Now, bear in mind, this is just a plastic casing with a BC holder in it for a BC lamp. Why would they say 110? Surely it would depend on the voltage of the lamp that you put in it. Very strange, that one. Couldn't quite get that one. And 110 volt here over in the UK is what uh, is mostly used on building sites for uh, this one of the regulations and everything 110 is normally coloured in yellow so you know that it's 110 hmm. anyway I'll show you what I mean about this if you just take the top off of it very strange that it should say 110 I really didn't quite understand that but hey that's what it is and that's what it is I've never heard of a lamp holder that you can only put 110 through if anyone else has, please put it in the comments. This is going to be a bog standard lantern. Yeah, this one. So, uh, we've got it there. Ah, there we go. Let's move it out of the way. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> please note, indoor, outdoor. The usual disclaimers going on there. Alright, anyway, what you got? Ah, no, this is handy. Right then, yeah, as I say, bog standard bulk headlamp just with a different coloured uh, glass shield on it. So you can put anything in there. There you go. So you could put a 240 volt like LED lamp in there or anything. However, it's a nice, it's a well made lamp holder. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to enter the camera there. Look at that, it's a nice porcelain, yeah, heat resistant. Apparently, heat resistant, heat resistant cable covers so you don't burn the wires. They say it can take up to a 100 watt lamp, incandescent GLS lamp, metal reflector. The only thing is though, the rest of it's plastic, now surely wouldn't that melt? And even if you had a 110 100 watt bulb in there, 110 wouldn't stop it getting hot. Very strange. But anyway, of course, I'm not going to leave this like this as you know. Because the other one that I had, had a little PL2 bin. And in my stash of goodies, la -da, got one of them. <laughs> so I shall be putting this into this, like, like so. Take the lamp holder out. In actual fact, it will go in quite nicely because where there's a mounting pivot there, a mounting hole there, just here, behind that lamp holder there is a little thing there you can actually put that into. So basically, take the lamp holder out. Plus the fact this lamp holder and this U-shape that the plate that's on the back of, like that, would be very handy for building a gear tray for a sodium street lamp or something like that. So this can be reused. And then this can just go in its place. Like that. There we go. Little self contained ballast and lamp. Yeah, lovely. See? Now yeah, that'll sit in there lovely, won't it? Yeah, that'll be flash on flat on there like that. And we'll have another one. We'll have one to match the red one. And if you remember from the other video, just to show, this was the red one that we had on the other video. So we have the red and now there we are they're virtually the same the i think the green one 
is a little bit more deeper glass than the front of this one. At least we'll have the two then, won't we? So we'll have to get these wired up at some point and see what these are like. Put that one back over there. So there we are. So the 110 volt, which we don't know why it is 110 volt, because in my opinion you can put any voltage through. Because you can get a, I think you can get a 24 volt GLS lamp as well, which was used in mobile homes for table lamps and things like that. I have seen them, I've seen them on sale. It's an incandescent lamp that's 24 volts, but the size of a normal one. Let's do these up a bit there so we don't lose screws. Nothing worse than losing the screws. Don't ever have a screw too loose. <laughs> there we go. In actual fact, I don't know who this is made by. I think this is some unbranded rank thing that they make for, for Cambridge not Cambridge, for City Electrical Factors. Uh, super, oh it's a TAM light, there you go. Well not too bad of, uh, not too bad of a uh, make then. Yeah, and if I remember right, that wholesaler does deal a lot in TAM light stuff. They used to do street lighting as well, many moons ago, I don't they still do. But very expensive retailer though, very expensive wholesalers. But there we go, so it's even branded 110 volt. There we go. So that's a bit of a mystery isn't it? You can bang anything in here. Well, there we go, well, hope you like this little video, thought I'd get this one round for you. And thanks for everyone in the comments who suggested about the green one. So, I wonder if now if I can get an amber one, then we'll have a traffic light system, won't we then? But yeah, thanks for uh, bringing this one up, I thought yeah, we'll have one of them, see what it's like. So, all the comments, trying to get back to you as quick as I can. Other stuff coming up really soon, and uh, give a thumbs up the video, and if you want to subscribe, have a subscribe. Let's see if we can get 400 subscribers in the near future. Could, could happen, couldn't it? Or could not happen. <laughs> anyway, thanks for enjoying this video. And uh, I'll see you on the next vid. Bye for now.